orientation and mobility is, is definitely a, a specialist field. Um, all of our practitioners um, have to study to become an orientation and mobility specialist. Um, it's very unique to the, the low vision and, and blindness world, so we spend a lot of time um, understanding vision impairments, understanding the impact of vision impairment on functionality, so real world, real life activities, um, and then developing strategies and um, learning to use mobility aids so that people are able to, to function in the community as they wish to. We get referrals from wide and varied sources, uh, but once they come in to, to Guide Dogs Victoria, we, we make contact with people within about 48 hours. So we've got a customer service team that, that make that happen. Um, and then we're um, allocating our referrals onto our practitioners, our orientation and mobility specialists. Um, and from there, it's about making contact, booking in um, an, an assessment process, really, where we go and see um, the person in their own environment. Um, usually that's in their home if they're comfortable for that to happen. Um, and we go through an assessment process where we're attempting to understand their, their vision status, the functional impacts of that, um, and looking at their, their mobility status most importantly. Um, we look at the clients very holistically, so we try to liaise with any other professionals that might be working with, with that person, um, and that's wide and varied in itself as well. Um, you name it, allied health professionals, uh, medical professionals, general practitioners, other service providers like social workers, case managers, whomever it might be. Um, we can do all of that liaising so we've got a full picture of each person, um, and that really gives us an opportunity to build, a, build that full picture of each person, each client that comes into Guide Dogs um, and um, then really shape an individual tailored program um, that meets their goals and so part of that assessment process is understanding what the, the client's goals are, um, what is it they want to be able to achieve. Um, in terms of orientation and mobility, that's usually about accessing the community safely. Um, it can be about accessing home, it might be about accessing a workplace as well. Um, but if it becomes apparent that the, the person is looking for support with um, activities of daily living or any particular occupations, then we can make internal referrals to our, um, our occupational therapy department. Um, so we do try to look very holistically and make sure that each person's goals, whatever they may be in the context of their, their low vision and blindness um, are met. We're really fortunate in that we're not tied to, um, to having to provide short, swift programs. We can provide a program that suits a person's needs. And so sometimes that might be quick. It might just be an assessment education process. Um, but equally, if someone needs supports across many years, um, it's, it's, it continues that way. And often that might be on and off um, services that they might need, so going through a one training program to develop some skills, the person might then go away and consolidate those mobility skills, but then they might come back to us with some new goals, perhaps something like tackling public transport or needing to access a new workplace. So we spend a lot of time making sure that family, friends, employers, whomever's involved in that person's life um, understands the circumstances um, when necessary can reinforce the skills that we've taught that need to be practiced between sessions um, and, and yeah, education for, for family and friends is, is vital. We've got um, dedicated teams here that have um, very specific skills. So we've got our children's mobility service um, and also our acquired brain injury mobility service. And so the practitioners that work within those teams are um, specialising on a daily basis just with children or just with acquired brain injury. Um, and that really, um, I suppose, means that we're, we're the experts. Um, I think we're, we're the only provider that um, has a specialised brain injury mobility service um, and we're good at it. <laughs>